Good morning, friends. I'm back with another grocery haul. I went to Walmart this morning, did my usual grocery pickup order. And so I'm gonna show you what I picked up today. I spent $250, almost exactly like 250 and a few cents, I think. And Walmart still has their anniversary sale on, so some good savings. I, like I said, I spent 250. I did also go to the store two days ago and buy five dozen eggs and a few pounds of apples because I wanted to make sure to get that sale and today that sale is over. So I wanted to get those eggs and apples while they were on sale and then I picked up a bunch more things today. I'll show you what I picked up and then I'll show you the week's meal plan. I usually don't pick up a lot of snacky items, which is why today I got a lot of snacky items because we are pretty low on like crackers and stuff and I need to get to Costco sometime soon and get more granola bars. We don't eat them a lot, but it's really nice to have when just on days where we're running out the door and it's nice to just have something we can grab and we're out. So I bought a few different things all on sale. We'll start up here with the cereal. Anytime you see that I've bought three of something, it's probably because that was the sale three for, I think these were three for $10, the oatmeal squares. I also got honey bunches of oats. These Nutri-Grain bars, I bought three different flavors, malt, um, uh, mixed berry, I was going to say multi-grain, mixed berry, um, strawberry, and apple. These were on sale too, these Kind bars, dark chocolate chunk. We like these um, crunchy bars. I don't think we've tried apple before, but um, or oats and chocolate, actually. That one looks good. Peanut butter is an old favorite of ours, and they do have the bigger boxes of them, like the multi-pack, but they never have peanut butter in the in the big packages, and that one's a favorite of ours. Cheez-Its were four for eight dollars. I don't see these on sale much anymore, and these are really good. They're like pretzel on one side and cracker on the other. A few bags of these little mini crisps. Last time I bought them, they were out of dill pickle, so I got dill pickle this time and cheddar. A couple bags of raisins. Um, creamed honey. Now, I really enjoy creamed honey. Andrew and I both much prefer creamed honey on our toast to the liquid honey. I don't know why, I just, we like it better. And some of the kids have decided that they like it better too. Now I do still like to get the liquid honey from Costco because I use honey a lot for baking. And so, did you just say I love these? What are you talking about? These ones or these ones? These ones. This one? Yeah? I love it. It's honey bunches of oats. I like, I like the like more like light ones of these ones. The These's corn not, squares, yeah. yes. They only had oatmeal squares and no corn squares. Oh, those look yummy. Uh, yeah, lots of yummy stuff here. Anyway, the liquid honey I do get from Costco because it's easier just to be able to pour as I'm measuring, much easier than using creamed honey. So I guess we'll just buy some of each. Uh, for produce, we got sugar snap peas. Cucumbers were under a dollar each, which don't see often. Sweet potatoes, I think they were 78 cents a pound. So lots of sweet potatoes. Bananas. I often will buy Romas because they're cheaper, but we're doing burgers this weekend, and so I got the beefsteak, some lettuce, grapes were on for, I don't remember anymore, but they were on sale. Uh, these I haven't bought in forever, but these are really good, and they were on sale too. I kind of had forgotten about them, and so I saw them on sale and thought, yeah, we need to get those. These baked chips, these ones are cheese ones, and these ones are just the original flavor. Got a couple of boxes of pasta, a couple cans of pineapple. Lard was on sale. That almost always happens around the holidays. So for Easter, this was on sale. And so I bought it. This is what I use when I make pie crust and it makes such a flaky, tender, really delicious pie crust. I got, actually let's do this first, soy sauce and coffee cream some plain Greek yogurt, three bags of milk, a few blocks of cheese, marble, mozzarella, and old cheddar, cottage cheese, two sour creams. These lately have been two for $8, so I got two of those. Um, pepperonis, these were on sale, so I got those for making pizza. I'm actually doing that tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. 
I got these pepperonis as well and cheese strings. I haven't bought these for a while because I feel like they're a little bit more of a splurge, but when we're having like finger food for lunch, these are just so easy to grab and a great protein source. And then I did get this big box of large freezer bags. We use these a lot for bread. I bake bread almost every day right now. And so we will store it in Ziploc bags and then we do reuse the bags. As long as we haven't had, you know, meat in them, I will definitely reuse the bags after baking bread, but we are really low. And so I got this box of, I think it's, oh yeah, right there, 60 freezer bags. Our meals for this coming week, a lot of this is just repeat. Like every Sunday, we have cereal for breakfast. We have finger food for lunch. This Sunday's dinner is burgers. I'm already looking forward to that. Toast and we'll do leftovers. I'm going to cook up chicken, french fries, raw veggies, oatmeal for breakfast, sourdough bread with meat and cheese, sweet potato, quinoa and chicken soup. It also has black beans in it. That's a really yummy soup and I will do that with the rest of the chicken from cooking up whole chicken here and I'll also make chicken stock with the chicken carcasses that will cook all day here and then we'll put it all together and make that soup. Fruit and yogurt parfaits. Now breakfast, we switch up breakfast quite a bit, but this these are just recipes or these are just meal ideas that I know, you know what, we have the stuff for. I bought raisins, so we have raisins to make baked oatmeal. I bought the Greek yogurt, so we have yogurt for making the parfaits and you know, having fresh fruit like the bananas and apples and grapes would make a perfect uh, mix there. I do have to make some granola and you know what, maybe we'll do this meal here instead. So these are not always like, all, we don't always follow it. We don't always follow the whole meal plan, but specifically breakfast will switch up, but these are just things I know we have the ingredients for. I have protein balls in the freezer right now. Um, okay, where are we? Right here, I think. We'll do finger food for lunch, leftovers on Wednesday night again, especially this soup. This usually makes enough soup for two full meals. Baked oatmeal, a grilled cheese. I'm gonna cook up some pork chops. I haven't done scalloped potatoes in a long time, but I thought I would try doing that again. We have, I've been making a cinnamon raisin bread, which is delicious also right in front of me right now. Well, I have this bread from yesterday. And then I made this strawberries and cream cheese loaf. We're gonna eat that today. It smells so good. I did like little dollops of cream cheese and um, freeze dried strawberries that I sprinkled all throughout it. Really looking forward to having that. But um, so something like that. I might make strawberries and cream cheese loaf here again or cinnamon raisin bread. Haven't decided that yet. That's quite a ways away, a full week away actually. But doing a loaf of bread like that and then eggs on the side is just a great combination. Um, what do I have there? Sometimes I have a hard time reading it through my viewfinder. I just need to look at the paper. Okay, pasta. So here I'm going to do um, a good number of pork chops so that we have enough to eat them right after they're cooked. And then the rest I will chop up and do this white sauce I've made before. Um, and then we'll serve that over pasta. Carrots on the side. Saturday I often leave um, lunch empty. For one, sometimes we try to do like two meals on Saturdays, depending how early everybody is up. If I make a bigger breakfast like this, sometimes we'll eat at like 10 o'clock and then just do snacky foods kind of through the afternoon and then dinner, or just everybody kind of grabs their own snacky lunch. We'll do different things, but I didn't actually plan for Saturday's lunch. I was going to do pancakes for breakfast there and then steak, mashed potatoes and whatever, whatever veggies I have will do there too. There you go. I know I had gotten comments that I've been slacking on sharing the meal plan. So I'm trying to stay more on top of showing our meal plan for the week and giving you the, those meal ideas. Again, if you want more meal ideas, check back on Wednesday. Almost every single Wednesday, I am sharing a full day of food with lots of meal ideas. Um, so you can see how we use these groceries. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you soon. Bye.